Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Wow, I gotta tell you, I love the community that we built on the channel here. You folks are always keeping me honest and you never miss a trick. Well, almost never. <laughs> so I released a video about a week ago. I think it was about a week ago. I was working the tractor, blowing snow, operated a couple of my chainsaws, a small electric, as well as my still MS-261. And boy, did I hear about it. <laughs> I got a lot of comments on that video. GP, you're operating a chainsaw. Where's your hearing protection? GP, you're busted. No ear protection, no PPE. GP, GP, no hearing protection. Are you sure I didn't have hearing protection? Maybe we should take another look. <laughs> I'm gonna head over to Neighbor Guys, Guys Workshop. Maybe you guys can take a closer look and I'll meet you over there. Cheers. So interesting thing this morning. Went out, haven't been up for about a week. Warmed her up this morning. Check my oil. Oh man, big stormy day today. So did you spot them? Picked up some isotunes. Oh, nice and toasty warm in here. So a couple of weeks ago, you'll probably remember I put out a video on hearing protection. I'm trying to find the right hearing protection for me. And we all have differing needs as you know but I've been going through trying different types of products and I'm looking for that one solution that's good for the tractor, splitter, chainsaws, uh, wood chipper, any other type of thing that I'm using on the property so I don't have to keep switching between different types of ear protection. And as is often the case on the channel, you good folks once again came through with a lot of comments with people identifying what you use on your property, what the brand or the model is, and whether or not you're happy with them. So I got a lot of feedback and a lot of comments. Started to make a list as I always do, as you know. The top two products that came up the most were the 3M Work Tunes and these in-ear hearing protections called Isotunes. So I went to work. Started looking through all the reviews as I normally do. There's thousands of reviews on these products between Amazon, Google, their own websites, different independent consumer websites, etc. And at the end of the day, as you'd imagine, they both have mixed reviews. Some people like them, say they work great, whether it's the 3M work tunes or the isotunes. Some people say they don't like them, they didn't work, or they don't fit in their ear, or you know, the 3Ms had really big, heavy padding, which causes their ears to sweat in the summertime. There's just, there's a number of different mixes throughout those reviews. And as you folks know, when I go through them, I don't look at the one-offs. When you look across 100 reviews, you try to find themes or comments that are similar. So if you've got a number of people who give it four stars or five stars out of five, you're looking for why they're doing it and you're looking for common themes. And similarly on the more negative reviews where it's one star or three stars, you're trying to find how many people, you know, who don't know each other and not related in different parts of the world are saying similar things about the product. Because I already have a number of different pieces of ear protection that are muff style or over the ear or over the head, as you know, I'm not a big fan on in-ear protection, which I'll explain why in a minute. But I did look through the YouTube videos on both products, did my research, and I had a bit of an interest in these isotunes. The one challenge with these isotunes, which I found, is as I went through YouTube video reviews, went on Google, Amazon, etc., I noticed that probably without exaggeration, about 90 or 95% of the reviews are being done by people that work either in industry, in a machine shop, a wood shop, some indoor type factory, or are property maintenance or lawnmower maintenance people. People that are out riding mowers all day. Other than tractor time with Tim and maybe one other, 
I didn't really find many reviews from somebody that has a job or does work in the outdoors like I do here. Chainsaws, splitters, wood chippers, tractors, etc. Mills. So I looked a little further into them. As you may recall from the last video, I've gone through a number of different tests on different equipment. And what I'm looking for ultimately is to have one set of hearing protection that I can use anytime. So whatever I'm going to do that day, I get up, I grab whatever equipment I need, and I always have one set of hearing protection that works regardless of what type of activity I'm doing. As you know, I was also testing out these Soundcore headphones, which I have to tell you, out of all of the hearing protection I tried, these are by far the best in the tractor. I virtually do not hear the engine or that hydraulic whine in the cab when I'm wearing these and I click the noise cancellation. They're working really well. The company did get back to me just as a follow-up to that video. They told me that in normal mode, this has an NRR or a noise reduction rating of 20 decibels. When you click the button and you put it into noise cancellation mode, it gives you 30 dB of protection, which probably explains why I can't hear the hydraulic whine. Generally, these other types, your basic simple pair, which will cost you about $25, $30, they will usually range anywhere between 20 dB and 25 dB, which is pretty reasonable. However, in all fairness, when testing them against these other types of protection with the chainsaw and the splitter, I found that these were a little more effective than this pair here. And I think it has a lot to do with what frequency is coming at you, as well as the decibel rating of that frequency. So for my needs for sure, I wanted one set of protection. It's got Bluetooth capability, not so much to allow me to listen to music, but I need to hear the news and the updated weather throughout the day when you're out in the forest. If you're like me and you have property, you know you probably check the weather four, five, six times a day because weather moves and changes so quickly. And you don't want to be in the forest when a lightning storm is about to hit. I've decided to try the Isotunes. I want to do an unboxing today, tell you a little bit about it and why I chose this model because they have several models on their website. I've only had it for about five days, but so far I'm pretty impressed. Let's go through the product. So you'll find on the Isotunes website, they have four or five different models, primarily all in-ear protection, but they have come out with one that's an over the head or an over the ear protection, basically your muff style. I chose the Isotune Pro 2.0 to test out. It boasts an NRR of 27, which I think is really good. It's Bluetooth, it allows you to take calls, and it also has a noise canceling feature on the microphone when you speak on the phone. In theory, although I haven't tested it thoroughly yet, just one call so far, it mutes the background noise, in theory your chainsaw, your tractor, so that whoever you're speaking with won't hear that, they only hear your voice clearly. So far it's been pretty good. But again, it's only been less than a week. Has a 16 hour battery time on it, which is great. I chose the Pro 2.0 over the other models for one specific reason. And that reason being that this model has an over the ear hook or loop that wraps around the inside of your earlobe. As I'd mentioned on the last video, which I'll put a link to above me, I'm not a big fan of in-ear protection. Used it a lot in my career. Usually your disposable foams that you squish in your hands, you stick them in. Usually they're a one-time or a two-time type use and you throw them away. I'm also not a big fan of buying something that causes me to have to continue to buy parts in the future. And although the Isotunes does, because they use a foam insert for the in-ear protection, I was intrigued because they said that the foam or the in-ear buds are washable, which might address my hygiene concern as far as working outside with dirty fingers and using the same buds every day. As you'll see above me, it came pretty complete. You've got your Isotunes headset itself. It came with four different pairs and different sizes of in-ear foam ear tips, right from extra small to large. It also came with one pair of what they call their triple flange silicone ear tips. Not sure why I need them. They say that they're not used for um, NRR or noise reduction. I think it's just for casual listening if you're listening to music or you don't need ear protection. Came with its charging cable, two cable management clips, as well as an alligator clip, which at first I didn't realize what it was for, but then I quickly realized that once you place these on, 
You've got the extra cable hanging behind your head. So your two cable management clips allow you to tighten that wire as much as you need to. And your alligator clip ties to the back of it and allows you to clip it to the back of your shirt. I guess that's in the event you need to take them out and you don't want them to fall off. There's a bit of security there that it's holding it on so it doesn't fall off onto the ground in front of you or perhaps into your chainsaw. So at least at this point, my concern about hygiene or sticking dirty foam into my ear canals has possibly been addressed. We'll see in time as I work through the next coming months with this set of ear protection. I like the fact that there are different sizes and in fact, the sizes are color coded. Each size has a different color tip inside. You can take phone calls. Everything is very easily controlled by this tiny little bar on the wire and each of the controls are raised so you don't have to look at them. You can feel them with your finger. Works really simple. So far the battery seems great. I charged it when I first got them about a week ago. I haven't needed to charge them yet and I've used it at least five times this week for several hours at a time. One of the other challenges I've always had in my life with earbuds is I think my ears or my ear canals are oddly shaped because I can't use earphones whether it's with a phone or any type of model phone or in fact any type of ear protection or anything I stick in my ears. Over the years whenever I've used them Throughout the day, they tend to, I can almost feel them slowly working their way out of my ear and they eventually fall out. And when it comes to headphones for phones, I can't use them at all unless I keep my head perfectly still when I'm using them to listen to music. If I turn left or right or move in any way, they pop out of my ears. So the idea twofold that we have different sizes of ear tips will give me an opportunity to see if they actually make a size that will fit comfortably in my ear. I've started off using the extra small size. I've used it all week has not come out once, very comfortable, no discomfort, no itching, no concerns. And what, what I'm really impressed with, it's only been a week, is that this loop that goes behind your earlobe is actually very soft. I've had apparatus I've used before that have had a loop that have to hook behind your earlobe, and usually after a period of time, you start to suffer discomfort because the loop usually has some form of metal or something firm in it, and it starts to dig into the ear. This one, used it all week, don't even know it's there, don't feel any discomfort. It's a very soft covering and it hooks really nicely behind the ear. And as I said, not once have these earbuds popped out of my ear or moved or become uncomfortable. So as I mentioned on the title of the video, today is just an unboxing and to give you an overview on this part two of hearing protection. As I continue on the, <laughs> on the quest to find the exact type of PPE I need for my ears. I'm going to try these out over the coming months before I offer an opinion or a review on it, but I did want to let you know that I am using hearing protection. I certainly am not going to be running chainsaws or working out in the outdoors with machinery without protecting my ears. And I think there's no better time to test a product like this than in the outdoors of a Canadian winter. So in about three or four months, I'll come back, I'll do a part three and I'll give you a final or at least an interim update or review on what I think of the product, how well it performed, using various different types of equipment outdoors, and as well as how well it handles these Canadian winters in the negative temperatures. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please be kind to one another. I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.